Well, welcome back, friends. It is a sticky day in my yard. Uh, I've gotten, I've, I've been really blessed with a good amount of rain. Like, it's really amazing how many days I haven't had to water. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to talk about growing herbs in Arizona or Zone 9B um, or a similar climate. I've had this request several times in the comments of different videos. So, since it's almost time to do a lot of planting of herbs, I figured this would be a great time to chat with you about that. So. I kind of broke this up into three different categories that are nonsensical to anybody but me. Um, so the first category is basically herbs that I already do grow. Um, and the experience that I can speak to you from that. And then there's herbs that I want to grow and then herbs that you can grow if you're into that. Okay, so again, this is really not in any particular order. This is just kind of how I thought of it. Um, and as I was looking at the planting calendar, as, along with um, kind of how it works in my yard. So for dill, you can plant dill from October to February. Um, it has a tendency to bolt or go to flower when it gets hotter and hotter. So it's kind of, that's the end of its life. Um, cilantro, even though we think of salsas in the summer, um, cilantro is actually um, grown from September 15th to February here. And again, it doesn't like heat. It wants to go to seed really quick in the heat. And if you're looking at cilantro as a way to get coriander, then you probably won't mind it going to seed um, for that purpose. Um, now lavender you can plant from seed from September 15th to October 15th and then you can plant from transplant um, February through March and and lavender's okay with the heat you just want to keep it in a shady area it doesn't want to be flooded with water so maybe not as heavy watering it as you do the rest of your plants and again um, I'm sure it do great in the ground, but the flexibility of being able to move it is a reason why I might recommend putting it into a container. Um, so I've got lavender going. I've also got mint going. Um, you can do mint from October to April. It's kind of invasive, so again, I definitely think a container would be a great idea. And right there, I'll kind of stop and say that it'd probably be like when I do my fall herbs I try to put them all in one bed um, but there's a lot of things that I want to keep in bags again for the flexibility so when you're thinking about your herb garden you might think of it like that as like making it its own area or putting it in a situation where you can move it as you need depending on the time of the year um, now I don't have any oregano going right now um, I had a plant before did a great harvest off of it and we still use that oregano now um, but you can um, plant oregano from September 15th to February 15th you could probably start that from seed but most things I see um, say transplant um, parsley is an October through February thing and it's actually kind of okay with the heat I um, it was in a bed that I had with a bunch of herbs in it and it was the last thing um it was the hardest for me to kill because again i do this snip off of the soil um, but it was still growing you know as probably well into june so i would say that it does okay with the heat um, now sage i don't have any sage going right now <laughs> i keep killing it so that's a good lesson for you and one of the biggest ways that I killed it, and you might be doing this too, is with the type of soil that I chose. Um, because I tend to use the same soil for almost everything until I learn better. Um, but sage really likes more of a sandy soil, like the type of soil that you would use to plant succulents or cactus in. Um, and it doesn't really want a lot of rich nutrients like you would do with a compost. So when I put a blend together, I just use a little bit of compost and it's mostly that cacti mix. And um, so sage is gonna do much better in an environment like that. So it's like I had a sage going, it was doing really good, but it was in a container and it really needed to 
even be moved but it took too long to get my cacti mix so I lost another one but I do have seeds for it um, so I'm gonna start some from seed and you can do that from September to November and again in February um, so if you're not having luck with sage maybe change up the type of soil that you're using because it grows naturally in california in like sandy areas on the faces of mountains and stuff like that um thyme you can plant and grow from september 15th to march um, it's okay with the heat but it does want to be in the shade um, you can do the fennel the herb from september 15th through february and um, I've also got basil and rosemary going right now and basil you can do you can plant from March to August 15th it loves the heat it loves full Sun and you can do rosemary from October to January and the rosemary that I've got I've had that thing for a couple years now I upplanted it this year into a grow bag which was a lot bigger space for it so it's really even just doing so much better um, it's you know they say that it's full sun but i keep mine um under shade cloth at this time of the year and it's still doing great so just to kind of make a pause and i guess before i make the pause is like cumin well i want to talk about that in a minute um so most of those herbs um, obviously are going to be grown in the fall and winter here in the low desert zone 9b arizona depending on where you're at so if i'm not talking about an herb that is that you want that you like that you cook with i would first of all say err on the side of caution and try it in the fall and my best example of that is cumin so i we use a lot of cumin i was really interested in growing it so i got some seeds from the mi gardener and like i said i had um that raised bed back there that i had um, parsley in I had cilantro in I had dill in and then I planted a fourth of it as cumin and um, <laughs> no sooner than I planted the cumin airing on the side of caution for the fall and winter that I read that it really likes full Sun and all kinds of heat and blah 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 but I can tell you from my experience of having aired on the side of caution and going with the fall in December it did fabulous that may have been because we had a mild winter um, in some respects but it didn't it, you know it nothing bothered it it wasn't bothered by the cold it wasn't bothered by the heat it bloomed it was beautiful I still need to process it but I did grow it so and that's so to kind of back around to that too i would say that if you mess up and plant an herb in the fall and winter for some reason that would be happier in the summer see it through see what happens and then you'll know next time to go ahead and plant it um, more in the spring and summer but you know how it is around here um so and another one that i grow that is kind of herb kind of medicinal herb is calendula and you want to plant that from september 15th to november 15th now i've got now some of these i've got um like i've got some chervel Ville, Cherville. Um, it's kind of like parsley, it's supposed to be a little bit milder. I tried to plant it last year, but it didn't come up for me because I'm not really that big of a fan of parsley. Certainly not raw parsley. I don't mind parsley after it's dried and there's a part of a seasoning blend, but I really cannot stand the taste of it raw. So I was hoping that the Cherville would come up, and I'm probably wrecking that name. I was hoping that that would come up and I'm still going to give it another try but you would be planting that again at this time of the year between the September and October range um, chamomile I've got seeds for chamomile but I kind of hokey poked around with it last year because I didn't know where I wanted to put it but chamomile you're going to want to plant um, December through April um, And then um, some more uh, things that I haven't really gone that big on but that I have the seeds for are like lemon balm. Um, you want to do that from October to November. Bee balm, you want to do that from February to March. Borage, and I really think of that more as um, 
a flour so it doesn't inherently come to me as but you can cook with it you can season with it it's got a lovely flavor um, but that's going to be in october to november when the bulk of all of our flowers in arizona get planted um, st john's wort now st john's wort i got from the mi gardener as well um, i'm going to err on the side of the caution and try it in um, the fall and winter and if I don't have success then I'll rotate it into my spring and summer planting. I have Lavage and Ashwagandha. Um, I, I haven't planted either one of those but for me I'm gonna go with fall and winter. Um, chives you want to do that between October and April. Um, Majorum you would like you would do that between October and November. Um, and also February through April. Now I'm starting to get into ones that I'm not I'm not growing. I don't have seeds for, and I'm not really that interested. Um, and then um, amaranth, which again I think of more as a grain, but I guess it's also um, a type of herb. But you want to grow that from like April to early September. Um, lemon verbena. And also when I'm thinking about these items that I'm talking about, I'm thinking about the things that you would grow to make a tea blend. So they're going to be, you know, like lemon verbena, that's going to be February through April. Lemongrass, February through April. But if you've got, um, you know, lemongrass already growing in your backyard, the fall and winter is a great time to like break it apart and then transplant it and make it into new plants. Um, High sop, you want to plant that between February and April. Bay leaves, um, it, you want to plant that between February and April as well. And eyes, you get two chances to plant that. You can plant it February through April and then again October through November. And catnip, you can plant October through April as well. Um, so that, again, I, I guarantee you I've not talked about every single herb out there, um, but again, I want to remind you to, if you're not sure, to just err on the side of caution and try it here in the fall and winter. Um, you definitely want to give it full sun, like full fall and winter sun. Um, I don't think there's anything that really is bothered by fall and winter full sun. Um, so choose that. And then another reason, so here's another thing, is if you, if you think about how the plant works, like if like say for example dill dill takes a long time to grow before it gets to a harvestable point um for use okay so if it's something like that that you know that the end use is either getting its seeds or getting its flower or it needs to be to a certain length that I would definitely say try it in the fall and winter because it's going to benefit from that cooler season and having all of that time to grow as opposed to having to struggle through the heat um, with some of the more delicate types of herbs that you could be growing. And last but not least, I'd like to remind you that if anybody says that it's too hard to grow lavender from seed, just don't even listen to them. Just throw a bunch of seeds in a container, densely plant it, and they'll come up if you don't bother with them, and then you can transplant them into their own little things as they get going. So let me know down below if you've got any more questions about herbs. I, I feel like I probably could have just said plant most things in the fall, <laughs> but I did want to kind of break it down and give you um, the details. Um, I wish it would have been in alphabetical order, but such is life. So hopefully um, you maybe took some notes or you can click back and take some notes and skip through and make notes and um, get your fall herb garden planted because it's uh you know as much as i love tomatoes and early spring summer gardens i really really love fall gardens for all the things that we can do from the herbs to the flowers to the multitude of things that we can grow so i hope you're thinking about some herbs that you want to get going i hope you're having a wonderful day and i hope wherever you're at you're getting a little bit of rain so have a great day friends and we'll talk again soon